Ramon. Ha! Mga pinunod kalipuran, tanghal. Ha! Tanah pun tanah untuk pendagal, untuk penglibutin. Our honorary is the 17th President of the Republic of the Philippines. He was born on 13 September 1957 in Batac, Ilocos Norte. The second child only son of the late President Ferdinand Marcos Sr. and former First Lady Imelda R. Marcos completed his Marine Basic Officers course in Fort Bonifacio and continued his various military training courses at the Philippine Army. Ladies and gentlemen, trooping the line before you is our honoree, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. President of the Republic of the Philippines and Commander-in-Chief of Armed Forces of the Philippines. He is accompanied by Vice Admiral Toribio D. Adasi Jr., Philippine Navy, and the Troop Commander, Captain Romel P. Marcus, Philippine Navy General Staff Corps. His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr. has achieved a distinguished career in government and has been in the public service for more than 25 years. He is happily married to former Miss Marie Louise Liza Cacho Araneta and blessed with three children, Ferdinand Alexander, Joseph Simon, and William Vincent. Kasamang mandirgat at mandirigma, ipinapabot ng ating panahuling patagal ang kanyang kagalingan, Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., Pangulo ng Republika ng Pilipinas, ang kanyang tausposong pasasalamat sa parangal na ginawad natin sa kanya sa umaga ito. Mabuhay! Baba, alis. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, our honoree, 
let us give him a round of applause. Likewise, our honoree will have his guest book assigning. Thank you. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency, Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. He is accompanied by the officer in charge, Department of National Defense, the Chief of Staff, Armed Forces of the Philippines, and by the flag officer in command, Philippine Navy. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commander-in-Chief Armed Forces of the Philippines is currently viewing the Philippine Navy's photostatic display. This is in line with the Philippine Navy's vision that by 2028, we shall be a modern, multi-capable naval force responsive to our maritime nation's defense and development. The photostatic display showcases the different capabilities research, and projects of six different units of the Philippine Navy, starting with the Naval Special Operations Command that specializes in sea, air, and land SEAL operations. The Philippine Marine Corps, also known as the cutting edge of the armed forces of the Philippines. The Philippine Fleet, also known as Vanguards of the Sea, that displays the different vessels and aircrafts of the Philippine Navy. Naval Combat Engineering Brigade that provides engineer units for naval construction and combat engineering operations. We also have the photo displays that showcase the different Philippine Navy activities and the photos of our president during his stay with the Philippine Marine Corps. The Naval Research and Technology Development Center that conducts naval research and technology development. They showcase their latest research and projects, such as the modernization standee display and the Bong Bong rocket.
please remain standing for the entry of the official party. Philippine Navy. Armed Forces of the Philippines. Department of National Defense. Republic of the Philippines. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency, Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. Our distinguished government officials, sailors, Marines, civilian human resource, and guests, we are gathered here this morning for the 125th Philippine Navy Anniversary. We commemorate this event with this year's theme, Guardians of the Seas, ensuring national sovereignty, security, and stability. May we invite everyone to remain standing for the prayer to be led by Colonel Leonidas Cruel Jr., Chaplain Service, General Staff Corps. We dispose ourselves for prayer. Let us pray. O most gracious and almighty God, on this momentous occasion of the Philippine Navy, we come before your holy presence with grateful hearts for your blessings on our sailors and marines. Bless, O Lord, our beloved President, our Commander-in-Chief, and everyone gathered here. Grant us your comfort and peace. Lord, let your divine blessing flow through us and let your divine plan plot the course of our lives. And by your divine providence, Prosper the sail plan of the Philippine Navy towards becoming credible guardians of the seas, ensuring national sovereignty, 
security, and the stability of our beloved country. May your divine protection empower us to face challenges ahead with strength and resilience. We offer this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ who calmed the storm and commanded the seas. Amen. May we request the Commander-in-Chief, Armed Forces of the Philippines, and the official party to face the Commodore Divino Pier for the commissioning ceremony. The audience may now be seated. In line with the Philippine Navy's vision of a modern and multi-capable Navy, part of today's Philippine Navy anniversary celebration is the commissioning of two Acero-class vessels. The Naval Adjutant, Captain Elvira R. Gonzalez, Philippine Navy General Staff Corps, will now read the commissioning orders of the two Acero-class vessels. Punong Impilan, Bungdagat ng Pilipinas, Headquarters, Philippine Navy, Naval Station, Jose Andrada, 2335, Ross Boulevard, Manila. Pursuant to General Orders No. 237, published on 09 May 2023, Barko ng Republika ng Pilipinas, Hener Tinangag, PG-903, and Barko ng Republika ng Pilipinas, Domingo Dalwana, PG-905, are hereby commissioned into the service of the Philippine Navy, effective 26 May 2023. By command of Vice Admiral Adasi Jr., Josema Ambrosio Q. Espeleta, Rear Admiral, Philippine Navy, Chief of Naval Staff. Official, Elvira R. Gonzalez, Captain, Philippine Navy, General Staff Corps, the Naval Adjutant. The Commanding Officers of BRP Hener Tinangag, PG-903, Lieutenant Commander Edwin Nuestro, Philippine Navy, and BRP Domingo Delwana, PG-905, Commander Louis Toong, Philippine Navy, will now render their completeness and readiness report to the Flag Officer in Command, Philippine Navy. Ginoo, ang mga pinuno at tauhat ng BRP Hener Tinangag, PG-903 ay narito pong lahat at napakalaman. Ginoo, ang mga pinuno at tauhan ng BRP Domingo Delwana, PG-905 ay narito pong lahat at napakalaman. The Flag Officer in Command, Philippine Navy, will likewise render same report to our Commander-in-Chief, AFP. After receiving the report from the Flag Officer in Command, Philippine Navy, the Commander-in-Chief... Italaga ang pagkomisyon sa BRP Hener Tinangag PG-903. Italaga ang pagkomisyon sa BRP Domingo Delwana PG-905. Harap sa likod. Harap. We shall now witness the first hoisting of commissioning pennants, national ensign, jack flag, and the full dressing of the BRP Hener Tinangag PG-903 and BRP Domingo Delwana PG-905. Kamay. Na! May we request everyone to please stand for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. Come on. 
sa likod. Rap. May we request the Commander-in-Chief, AFP, and official party to remain standing. The audience may now be seated. The commanding officers will render a report to the flag officer in command, Philippine Navy, that BRP Hinerti Nangag, PG-903, and BRP Domingo de Luana, PG-905, have now been commissioned and added to the inventory of readily deployable vessels of the Philippine Navy. You know, ang BRP Hinerti Nangag, PG-903, ay ganap na pong nakomisyon. Ginoo, ang BRP Domingo de Luana, PG905, ay ganap na pong nakomisyon. The Flag Officer in Command, Philippine Navy, will likewise render same report to our Commander-in-Chief, AFP. Itakda ang pagtatanod. The officers and crew of PG-903 and PG-905 will now proceed back to their respective patrol gunboats. So... May we request the President to proceed at the Headquarters Philippine Navy Shaded Area stage for the audio-visual presentation of the setting of the watch. The Commander-in-Chief, Armed Forces of the Philippines, and his official party will now proceed to the newly commissioned vessels. Likewise, may we request our audience to direct their attention at the screens in front of you for the audio-visual presentation of the setting of the watch. We shall now witness the time-honored tradition of setting off the watch. This shows the first entry to the ship's rough deck log, which signifies the first posting of duties of the newly commissioned vessels.
And now, may we request the Commander-in-Chief, Armed Forces of the Philippines, to please proceed at the Headquarters Philippine Navy Shaded Area for the audio-visual presentation of the setting of the watch. Please be seated. We shall now witness the time-honored tradition of setting off the watch. This shows the first entry to the ship's raft deck log, which signifies the first posting of duties of the newly commissioned vessels. Pilipinas, lakas baybaying pandikma, parko ng Republika ng Pilipinas, Domingo de Luana, TG905, Biernes, ikadalawampot anim ng Mayo, taong dalawang libo at dalawampot tatlo, mga nakatalaga at tangtang gawain, pinuno, pulimagat, danaw, hababang pinuno ng mga tano, palimbing, mandaragat, hababang pinuno ng makinaria, galinzoga, mandaragat, mga tauban, Gumawa ayon sa nakatakdang gawain sa araw na atasang tagapag-utos, may lagda, timagat, berha. Pugbong dagat ng Pilipinas, lakas dagat ni ng Pilipinas, lakas baybaying pandigma, barko ng Republika ng Pilipinas, inertinangag PG-903. Biyernes, ikadalampot anim ng Mayo, taong dalawang libo at dalampot tatlo, mga nakatalaga at takdang gawain, pinuno sa tanod, Pulimagat presto, mababang pinuno ng mga tanod, lantod mandaragat, mababang pinuno ng makinarya, ibayan mandaragat, mga tauhan, gumawa ayon sa nakatakdang gawain sa araw, nakataasang tagapag-utos, may lagda, imagat, suguran. A round of applause to the officers and crew of BRP Hener Tinangag, PG-903, and BRP Domingo de Luana, PG-905. The Flag Officer in Command, Philippine Navy, Vice Admiral Toribio D. Adasi Jr. will now deliver his anniversary message. to the Commander-in-Chief and the 17th President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., Cabinet Secretaries, Members of Congress, Senior Leaders of the Department of National Defense and the Armed Forces of the Philippines, former Flag Officers in Command of the Philippine Navy, distinguished guests, partners, stakeholders, Men and women of the Team Navy, ladies and gentlemen, a good Navy morning to everyone. I extend my warmest welcome to everyone as we gather here to celebrate the 125th anniversary of the Philippine Navy. It is with great honor and pride that we mark this milestone in our nation's maritime history. Since its inception in 1898, the Philippine Navy has played a vital role in safeguarding our sovereignty, protecting our maritime interests, and ensuring the safety and security of our waters. For 125 years, our brave men and women have displayed unwavering dedication, 
courage, and professionalism in the face of numerous challenges. Today, we commemorate the legacy of those who came before us, the pioneers who laid the foundation of our Navy, and the heroes who selflessly served our nation. Their sacrifices and contributions have shaped the Philippine Navy into a resilient force, one that stands ready to defend our nation's territorial integrity and uphold regional peace and stability. We also celebrate the achievements and milestones attained throughout the years. Our Navy has been instrumental in enhancing maritime security, promoting humanitarian assistance and disaster response efforts, and fostering international cooperation. And as we embark on our transformation journey, we remain relentless in our modernization efforts. In line with this, we have just commissioned the Philippine Navy's two Acero-class vessels, which symbolize the promising future of our maritime defense. And efforts toward enhanced capabilities, increased resilience, and a stronger presence in the maritime domain. I extend our gratitude to the national leadership for making this possible and for the continued support to our Navy as we realize our vision of becoming a modern and multi-capable naval force. Recently, the Philippines hosted three significant ASEAN events that showcased our nation's commitment to regional cooperation and maritime security. Namely, the 17th ASEAN Navy Chiefs Meeting, which is the premier gathering of the ASEAN Naval leaders to discuss and exchange ideas about strategic and collective actions on strengthening maritime security in Southeast Asia. The ASEAN Fleet Review, which is the display of ASEAN's naval capability and readiness, and the ASEAN Multinational Naval Exercises, where navies of the ASEAN states conducted at sea joint military exercises for the enhancement of interoperability and cooperation among ASEAN navies. Let us take pride in these achievements, knowing that our Navy has played a pivotal role in advancing regional security, promoting friendship, and upholding values of ASEAN. For 125 years and beyond, the Philippine Navy stands resolute and unwavering in its commitment to uphold its mandate. Without hesitation or compromise, our Navy will persist persistently safeguard our maritime interests defend our national territory, protect the sovereignty of our maritime nation. This morning, I also have the privilege of presenting to our esteemed guest of honor, our president and the commander-in-chief of our armed forces, the Philippine Navy Sabre, which is the command's tribute to the president's exceptional leadership and solemn pledge of loyalty to our nation. It represents the embodiment of power, protection, authority, strength, and courage. We also proudly present a replica of BRP Jose Rizal, FF-150, the flagship of the Philippine Navy. This vessel showcases our Navy's dedication to honor and emulate the values of our national hero. In closing, I extend my heartfelt congratulations and gratitude to the men and women of the Philippine Navy on this momentous occasion. May we continue to uphold the proud traditions and noble heritage of our Navy, working hand in hand to secure a brighter and more prosperous future for our beloved country. Muli, Maligayang pagdating sa impilan ng hukbong dagat ng Pilipinas para sa pagdiriwang ng ating isang ikaisang daan at dalawamputlimang taon ng pagsisilbi sa ating mahal na Pilipinas. Mabuhay ang hukbong dagat ng Pilipinas. Mabuhay tayo lahat. Maraming salamat. Thank you, Vice Admiral Toribio Diadasi Jr., Flag Officer in Command, Philippine Navy.
We shall now proceed with the presentation of awards. Awards are manifestations of tangible achievements of individuals and organizations. Today, the Philippine Navy gives due recognition to the following in giving pride to the Team Navy. We will first witness the presentation of the unit awardees. May we request the Commander-in-Chief, AFP, to witness the awards to be conferred by the Officer in Charge, Department of National Defense, Senior Undersecretary, Carlito G. Galvez. He will be assisted by the Flag Officer in Command, Vice Admiral, Toribio D. Adasi, Jr., Philippine Navy. The Type Command of the Year 2023 is awarded to Philippine Marine Corps. The award will be received by Major General Arturo G. Rojas, Philippine Navy Marines, Commandant, Philippine Marine Corps. The Naval Operating Forces of the Year 2023 is awarded to Naval Forces Southern Luzon. The award will be received by Captain Salvador G. Lavapia Jr., Philippine Navy General Staff Corps, Deputy Commander, Naval Forces Southern Luzon, on behalf of Commodore Joe Anthony C. Orbe, Philippine Navy, the Commander, Naval Forces Southern Luzon. The Support Command of the Year 2023 is awarded to Naval Sea Systems Command. The award will be received by Rear Admiral Macraul B. Racacho, Philippine Navy, Commander, Naval Sea Systems Command. The Support Unit of the Year 2023 is awarded to Navy Personal Management Center. The award will be received by Captain Geraldine M. Pasha, Philippine Navy, MNSA, Commander, Navy Personal Management Center. We will now present the individual awardees. The Philippine Navy Enlisted Personnel of the Year 2023 is awarded to Underwater Operator 2nd Class, Anro Anthony M. Turalio, 836-912, Philippine Navy. Presently assigned at Naval Explosive Ordnance Disposal Group, Naval Special Operations Command. The Philippine Navy Civilian Model Supervisor of the Year 2023 is awarded to Ms. Catherine K. Honrado, Civilian Human Resource, 6541. Presently assigned at Manila Naval Hospital, Naval Installation Command. The Philippine Navy Civilian Model Employee of the Year 2023 is awarded to Engineer John Mark B. Delgado, Civilian Human Resource, 8844. Presently assigned at Naval Research and Technology Development Center, Naval Sea Systems Command.
for the medal awardees. The award of Gawad sa Kapayapaan is presented to Colonel Ashley N. Nastor, Officer-13186, Philippine Navy, Marines, General Staff Corps. For outstanding service rendered to internal peace and security, preferred valuable contribution in promoting societal understanding and reconciliation, and making exceptional achievements in pursuit of national accord and development at the 2nd District of Sulu Province from 06 December 2018 to 01 May 2020. The Distinguished Navy Cross Award is presented to Captain Clyde B. Domingo, O-13247, Philippine Navy General Staff Corps, for distinguished heroism and extraordinary achievement while conducting naval operations during the rescue and assistance rendered to Tubataha Reefs Natural Park Rangers, composed of two Philippine Navy personnel, three Philippine Coast Guard, and four civilian park rangers on 27 December 2022 as commanding officer of BRP Gregorio del Pilar, PS-15. The award of the Gold Cross Medal Award is presented to Staff Sergeant Jeffrey L. Sugal, 865-599 Philippine Navy Marines for gallantry and action will survey as a member of Team 2, 65th Fourth Reconnaissance Company, Force Reconnaissance Group, Philippine Marine Corps, during an encounter with more or less eight fully armed members of Bienvenido Valiver Command at a CPP NPA terrorist hideout at Sitio Bayugan Rojas Palawan on 10 December 2021. As a result, the remnants of the communist terrorist groups in the province of Palawan were neutralized. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm round of applause to all the awardees. Congratulations to each and every one. May we request our Chief of Staff AFP and the official party to please be seated. And now may we invite everyone to please direct your attention to the screens in front of you for the Philippine Navy Anniversary Audio-Visual Presentation. The Philippine Navy's 125th anniversary is a significant waypoint to celebrate how far the nation's guardians of the seas have come while looking back with pride to the rich and inspiring narrative of what was once a small navy. On May 20, 1898, the Filipino flag was hoisted on one of the ships belonging to a small fleet of eight captured Spanish Navy ships after the Battle of Manila Bay. It marked the beginning of the Revolutionary Navy, considered as the country's first organized navy established through a presidential decree by General Emilio Aguinaldo. The succeeding Commonwealth period gave birth to the establishment of the Offshore Patrol, or OSP, as the sea-going arm of the Philippine Army with First Lieutenant Jose Andrada as its commanding officer dubbed as the Mosquito Fleet and highly regarded as weapons of surprise and opportunity, the OSP composed of three torpedo boats, Luzon Q111, Abra Q112, and Agusan Q113, performed heroically against the invading Japanese Navy and Air Force. Among them was Captain Ramon Alcaraz, the skipper of Q-Boat Abra. He later earned the distinction as the father of the Philippine Marine Corps. In October 1947, the OSP was renamed Philippine Naval Patrol or PNP when it became a major command of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. 
It eventually elevated into a flag command when Jose Andrada was promoted to the rank of Commodore and was designated as the first flag officer in command. In December 1950, the PNP was finally renamed Philippine Navy. From that time on, the Navy, through the gallantry and heroism of the sailors and Marines, once more progressively impressed its mark on our national history. Regional events in the post-war years paved the way for the passing of the AFP Modernization Law in 1995 and later amended in 2012. This era has ushered in the steady transformation and modernization of the Navy's multi-domain capabilities through the acquisitions of modern sea, air, and land platforms with modern systems. And to usher in our 125th anniversary, the Philippine Navy recently embarked on major undertakings that highlighted our leadership role in promoting ASEAN centrality and cooperation with the hosting of the 17th ASEAN Navy Chiefs Meeting, ASEAN Fleet Review, and the second ASEAN Multilateral Naval Exercise. We also showcased our advancing capabilities to efficiently fulfill our roles in ensuring national sovereignty security, and stability through the successful demonstration of the launching of AW-159's Blue Shark Torpedo and Frigate's Bullfighter Shaft Decoy on May 19. With the steadfast support of the government and the Filipino people, we remain to be a forward-looking Navy at full speed to become modern and multi-capable that is an imperative for our maritime nation's defense and development. Gentlemen, a round of applause to 125 years of honorable service of our Philippine Navy. And now, may we call on Executive Secretary Lucas P. Bersamin to introduce our guests of honor and speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. Uh, thank, thank you, uh, Executive Secretary. Uh, Luke Bersamin, please uh, take your seat. The, uh, the Excellencies of the Diplomatic Corps who have joined us today, uh, Special Assistant to the President, Secretary Anton Lagdamero, the National Security Advisor, Eduardo Año, National Defense Senior Undersecretary Carlito Galvez, Honorable Members of the Senate, Honorable Members of the House of Representatives, the Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, General Andy Centino, Flag Officer in Command, Philippine Navy Vice Admiral Toribio Adasi Jr., Commanding Generals, Officers, and Enlisted Personnel of the Philippine Navy, my colleagues in government, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to you all. On, in May 1898, a Filipino flag was hoisted on one of the vessels of the Philippine Revolutionary Navy marking the formal establishment of our Navy. A month later, Philippine sovereignty was formally proclaimed. 125 years on, we are still relishing the independence that our forebears had won for us. Today, we honor once again their triumphs and their bravery. As we celebrate the Philippine Navy's 125th anniversary, we pay tribute to the institution and the men and women behind it, both uniformed and civilian. For they have continued the noble cause of defending the public sovereignty and keeping the peace. We acknowledge their manifold achievements and accomplishments over the years, especially the efforts to secure our archipelago, more significantly in the Batanes and Calayaan Islands, 
the Philippine rice, and the West Philippine Sea. We recognize not only their progressive naval and amphibious warfare skills that have earned international acclaim, but also the humanitarian acts that are likewise inherent to the calling of the Navy. Moreover, we recognize today's awardees whose individual exemplary performances are a source of inspiration and a spur to improvement for the institution and its ranks. Considering the changing tides of our national security and the significant gains that we have made in terms of internal security, our armed forces is working to recalibrate its focus more towards external defense of our borders. In this crucial transition, full support for the armed forces must be guaranteed, especially for the Philippine Navy's priority goals of enhancing its intelligence, defense, and coordinative capabilities. With the commissioning of the two vessels today, we look, for, we look further forward to the completion of the AFP modernization program, more especially Horizon 3, which is significantly devoted to the naval aspect of our military operations. This endeavor will pave the way for the holistic transformation of our AFP into a stronger, modern, and formidable organization. By then, the AFP will be more effective in its military aims and more responsive to our national goals. We are keenly aware that the national interests are to be pursued in the context of the global order. The seas that stretch before us are not to be seen as boundaries that divide our nations, but they must be seen as channels for mutually beneficial exchanges and collaboration. Our Navy serves not only as valiant guardians of our seas and shores, but peaceful emissaries as well. Highly disciplined and experienced in international engagement, it adheres to the international recognized codes of conduct, such as UNCLOS and the recently approved ASEAN Guidelines of Maritime Interaction. In this light, it plays a significant role in our collective effort to nurture friendly international relations by fostering mutual trust and confidence, freedom of navigation and overflight, and, of course, safety of our seas. As it sails on towards the next century, the Philippine Navy remains ever relevant in our nation building and continue to be indispensable to the attainment of the aspiration of a more comfortable and secure way of life for all Filipinos. This is an opportune occasion to renew our commitment and dedication to the cause of strengthening our republic of its peace and prosperity. And so, to the brave men and women of our Navy, in fulfilling your duties and mandates, be agents and exemplars for our citizenry by working for unity and by championing respect for our constitutional order and the rule of law. Rest assured that as your Commander-in-Chief, this administration will work tirelessly not only to improve the armed forces, but are also looking for ways and means to improve your individual welfare and those of your families and loved ones as well. This is your Commander-in-Chief wishing you fair winds and following seas. Mabuhay ang hukbong dagat at ang buong sandatahang lakas ng Pilipinas. Mabuhay ang Republika ng Pilipinas. Maraming salamat at magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Thank you, Mr. President and Commander-in-Chief, Armed Forces of the Philippines. May we request the President to grant us a photo opportunity. May we request the presence of the Philippine Navy awardees to join our President for a photo opportunity. Next would be the members of the Senate and Congress and other local government units. Please stand by and prepare.
joining our president for a photo opportunity are the Philippine Navy Awardees. Members of the Senate and Congress and other local government units, please stand by and prepare. Thank you to our awardees. Please exit to your right. Next, members of the Senate, Congress, and other local government units. To our former flag officers in Command Philippine Navy, please stand by and prepare. Thank you. Please exit to your right. Next would be the former flag officers in command, Philippine Navy. May we request the Philippine Navy flag officers and generals to please stand by and prepare. Thank you very much, sir. Please exit to your right. May we request the Philippine Navy flag officers and generals, commodores and brigadier generals to please stand by and prepare. Thank you, sir. Please exit to your right. Thank you, sirs and ma'am. Please exit to your right. Thank you, Mr. President, for granting us a photo opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this morning's program. On behalf of our Flag Officer in Command, Philippine Navy, Vice Admiral Toribio D. Adasi, Jr., we extend our sincerest gratitude to each and every one of you for gracing this momentous occasion. Muli, maraming salamat po at mabuhay tayong lahat!
Once again, ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. We would like to request everyone to remain seated until the President has left the venue. 